Y'all ready for this? Welcome to another episode of Puff Daddy Reef, and today I have something pretty cool to show you. I am maxing out my sump with some biological filtration, and this stuff is the Marine Pure Ceramic Balls, and they're pretty good. I had them in my other tank. I was using them to make a mini anemone farm, and I think they're going to be a very great thing to get some more biological filtration in my sump and maybe take care of some of this uh, cloudiness in my tank, which most people on the comments have concluded is a bacteria boom. So maybe we'll give them somewhere else to live rather than my tank and that might help. So here are my little clownfish and they're hanging out in there. Um, one thing that I like to know is my auto top off is already empty. Once again, I think the auto top off for this tank is just a little small for me. And so for long trips, I definitely will need something bigger and maybe my Tunzi ATL. But for now, we'll put these balls in and they're going to go in with this, these little clownfish. What I'm thinking about doing is possibly in the future adding um, little trees. Of course, my skimmer keeps filling up week by week, so I'm trying to uh, I'm trying to empty that a lot faster. It's getting a lot of gunk out, but I'm just putting these little balls in and this whole area will just be full of them. I'm thinking, where should I put these little shells? I kind of want it in a different location than before. And where I'm going to put them is in this area underneath the filter socks. I think that's an interesting place to keep them, at least for now. It will keep them all in one place. Look at all these shells. So a lot of these are the remains of snails that were killed um, by my hermit crabs, which I had in the cleanup crew. Hermit crabs are just absolutely vicious animals. Uh, people say they help with you know, green hair algae and stuff, but I just really don't think they're worth it. You know, that's at least one or two layers thick in there. That'll be a good substrate to get some biological filtration. Another thing that I could do is I could put them back here. There's not a lot down here in this little chamber. Uh, you really can't use this part of it because if you want to get access to stuff, you have to slide this auto top off over there. So that's another challenge with that auto top off being stacked on top. However, it does mean that there's a lot of uh, space on the other side of the sump, so that, that helps me a lot. Sink, ball, sink. Two weeks after the last one, and we have harvested 118 grams of Kato. So it seems like it's slowing down. Uh, it's quite hard to tell. I didn't harvest as much as last time, but there definitely is less in there. So hopefully that means things are moving along. So I'm acclimating my fish right now. They're in the bag, and yes, we have a purple tang and then one of my cardinals. So they're just acclimating temperature right now. And it's nighttime, so the lights are going to go out. I'm going to feed some food uh, to distract everyone else. Put a little bit in there to start. And then that should give everyone else a break before they go into the tank. It's a purple tank, and this is an absolutely gorgeous fish. Very, very happy to have it. It's doing very well, and it's so, so, so fat. I think there's more than enough algae growing in this tank for him to eat. So he's having a good time. Thank you very much for watching. Please leave a comment, and I'll get another video out to you next week. Thanks for watching, and happy reefing. Y'all ready for this?